Today we're looking at my smaller leaf cutter colony. This right here is my Acromyrmix oxpinosus. And as you can see, they have grown a lot since the last episode. Last time I talked about these girls, I talked about how I fed them and how they weren't eating that many leaves. Luckily, today I can say most of these problems are gone. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ant Holofer YouTube channel. Today we are talking about the Acromonomics Oxpinosus, also known as my smaller leafcutter colony. And this week the member lamp is purple, chosen by my fiance and Mr. Kai. Let's look at the ants. Today the colony is living in a Wakushi leafcutter pot. Now last time I showed them they actually didn't live in this pot. I had to move them from one pot to a multiple pot system as it became impossible to feed them. Now for those who saw my other update number 3, you will know that this didn't at all go so well. Going in, my plan was to pick up the mesh and relocate everything. This however became a slow motion disaster. The fungi didn't stick to the mesh as I had hoped, and in a desperate attempt, I pushed the fungi towards the wall and it completely ripped apart and everything was just ruined in seconds. Now I was left with potentially a dead queen and the fungi completely ruined. But I didn't waste any time and I took a spoon and manually moved the fungi piece by piece. And all I could think about was, the slower I was, the more fungi would dry and potentially die. Around 15 minutes later, I was done. Now luckily I can confirm that a few days later I did see the queen in the pot, so she was healthy and alive. Looking at the setup today, once more the colony have grown a nice new fungi. They rebuilt all of the destroyed fungi within only two days and once more started cutting. At this point I had given them their old fungi pot as a new feeding pot. This however didn't last long as they once more became impossible to feed. So today I have used this ant store outworld and simply just connected them. Now the thing with this ant store outworld is that it has a very open lid. So I have this Wakushi S4 module lid that I just simply put on top because I had it to spare. And this doesn't do anything functional except it helps create a little bit of a higher humidity inside the outworld. And inside the outworld meaning also inside the pot. Now finally after 4 months of feeding them in this pot and the other pot, I could finally apply a barrier upside down and well I could go in and leave the leaves without having any ants escaping at all. Looking at the fungi, it's very white at the moment. I try to feed them every few days to make everything keep growing nicely. But the last two days I had deliberately not fed them and the fungi became all white in only a day or so. Now with this white fungi you can actually see these orange bubbles that I talked about in my last episode. They become very clear on this white background. Now there's a lot of speculations around what these bubbles actually are. Some think it's ant poop and some think it's a little fungi plant. Now the other night I talked with Wakushi on his Friday chats and he actually spotted a little blob but not on the fungi but on a leaf and he actually took this leaf out and by the blob being on the leaves and not the fungi I don't think it's actually something the fungi is producing and after he took it out it was a liquid meaning it could as well be a little bit of ant poop and sterilizer and fertilizer but with the orange bubble being on a leaf and not on the fungi I don't think it's the fungi that is making it anymore. So I'm personally on the ant pooping team and I think it's a way of the ants fertilizing the fungi in some way or another. Now Ants Hood had heard someone else saying that they also eat the bubbles but I still think it is ant poop fertilizer. But what do you think? Is it ant poop? Is it fungi flower? Is it something totally different? Let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Now hopefully with the white fungi they will go crazy for new leaves. That is my plan and today I am feeding them three things. Some fresh bramble shoots, some elder leaves and a little bit of newly grown privet. This is for the most part their favorite leaves and today I'm gonna make a direct comparison to see what they like the most. Starting this multiple hour time lapse, you can quite fast see the communication between the outworld and the pots. The ants are very quick to go out and cut and go home and feed it to the fungi once more. 
Although it's quite hard to see in this time lapse, they were very quick to take the newly grown privet, and after that they went straight for the bramble shoots. And only a few hours later, this completely white fungi transformed into an all new black fungi. It is so interesting to observe how the fungi just changes color. Very cool. And it was actually yesterday I took this time lapse. And today you can see there's only a little bit of elderberry shoots remaining. Everything else is gone. Looking closely at the ants, it is insane to see how many ants that are working. Some are cutting, some are holding leaves, some others are licking the leaves, and some are feeding it to the fungi. It's brilliant to see all the ants working together, all doing their very own unique job. But everybody still seems to know what to do. It is so cool and I just love that evolution have made this happen. How? A fungi that's only found in leaf cutter nests. The ants are cutting... I'm mind blown by these cutters. They are so amazing. Everyone just seemed to know what to do. It is truly unique and even just the look of the workers is insane. I absolutely love this colony. Both their unique way of life, their cool orange color and their very aggressiveness towards any outsiders going in on their premise. Last episode I personally didn't think they were doing too well. How are they doing today? Well, I'd say alright. It could definitely be better, but it could definitely also be worse. I still have a quite hard time feeding them as they just don't really seem interested in taking any new testing leaves. They of course sometimes just go crazy like in this recording we just had, but generally it's quite a rare sight and they only go crazy around once a week sadly. They are of course growing, but I still think they could grow faster, especially compared to my other Mexicana colony. They have now started growing the funky inside their second pot after their first pot completely got filled to the brim. Of course you can't at all compare these two colonies because it's two completely different species, but I just found it very interesting that the other was so much smaller than the Acro when I initially got them, and now they need a two-pot system just for the fungi, where these still have a lot of growing room inside the first pot. Taking a look around the colony, there isn't too much visible brood. At some point I saw a lot of brood all over the place, but they have started hiding it inside the fungi once again. Looking at the worker count, they are definitely doing well as there's just a lot of workers. I just hope that the fungi follows the growth and starts growing a little bit faster. Regarding the queen, I haven't seen her in what seems like forever. At one point she was always close to the gypsum, but nowadays I just don't see her anymore. Now some of you may have spotted this weird fungi trash looking, I don't know what it is, in the background. I'm not too sure what this is, but at one point I thought it was gonna be a new fungi. Now, today, however, I don't really know. It both seems like it's new fungi, but also trash, but they do have a trash area out in the outworld. So I'm not too sure what it is, but it is very interesting to follow to see if some fungi grows out of this. Since day one, the pot has been very good at holding in the humidity. I'm not too sure what have changed, but the pot has starting to look a lot more humid with small condensation bubbles forming over most of the pot. This is also something that have happened with my other colony, so I think it may just be... I don't know, the summer heat from outside? I don't know. Maybe it's due to the heat differences because the fungi makes a little bit of heat. Perhaps it's the heat of the trash decaying. I'm not too sure, but somehow they at least create some very humid areas inside the pot. Now to end this video off, what are my future plans for this colony? At the moment I don't really see anything wrong with their setup, but it is a very temporary setup. This outworld right here doesn't really fit this over here. The tube is still the small tube and the other week they actually managed to take all the cotton away and actually escape a little bit. Nothing too big, I just put them home again and only like 10 escape because I looked at the right time. 
This right here, also temporary. It's all a little bit of a temporary setup. The outworld is also a bit too small and they are around that size where I would actually like them to have a proper trash pot. As the outworld currently functions as both a feeding pot and a trash pot. If I were to make everything by the book, I would of course change this, but I don't really think the ants care. And personally, I don't care too much either. We are only a few weeks away from Ancon, and after Ancon, Wakushi will start to develop the upgraded version of the original pot system. And don't you worry, I'm the first on the waiting list to get one of these new pots and new outworlds. Lastly, for those thinking where I got this colony from, these are from Ants Davy. Ants Davy is a store located here in Europe who specializes in selling leaf cutters. So if you are on the lookout for an Acromomics Oxpenosis colony, I definitely recommend him. And with that being said, that has been it for this video. Now let's just bring all of the members up. A big thank you to all of the members, but a special thank you to the seven Holofer family members. We have Medical Car Case, Number 9, Ants Norway, Ryan from the YouTube channel Antscapes, Simon, Victor and Kai, and finally our newest Holofer family member, Casper, who upgraded from a Holofer helper. That has been it for this video. Of course, a big thank you to the other members. Now I want to ask you, do you have leaf cutters? Do you have Acromemics Oxpenosis? Would you like them? Or are you more of an Adder boy? Maybe you like the Adder more than Acros. Let me know in the comments down below. With that being said, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Become a member today if you like. And I will see you all in another video. Bye!